Ah, lovely. Very catchy. Uh, this, I'll just um, need to do a bit. Uh, this uh, video is all about um, Dell XPS 13 in this particular instance and a problem you might have with the headphones. So I'm going to um, turn these back on and plug them in. And nothing happens. Um, so nothing's coming out of the headphones and they don't automatically mute when they're inserted. See, nothing happens at all. Very, very annoying. Uh, and uh, this will probably happen um, after you've reinstalled, uh, or it just might happen anyway. Uh, the point is that it isn't necessarily going to be the socket that's at fault. So don't get your soldering iron and your screwdriver out just yet. We'll just try something else first to see if that fixes it without, you know, taking the thing to bits. So uh, on this particular model, I've fixed the problem and I've sort of um, reproduced the problem. So if I load up um, CCleaner and do tools and then start up, I've actually disabled one item. Well, I've disabled Intel Rapid Storage as well, uh, but I've also disabled um, something from Waves Audio Limited. That's, um, well, we'll see what that is. So I'm going to enable that. And then what I'll do is I'll restart the machine and then we'll see what sort of difference it makes. So um, let's restart it. So you've restarted and um, got some music playing. There it is. Uh, what I'll do is I'll start the music playing again and I'll plug the headphones in and we'll see what happens. I get a pop up and if I click OK, the headphones work. Now on that pop up, there's an option to click uh, don't show this dialogue again. And if I click that, then it will automatically mute the main speakers and have it coming out of the headphones. So this has actually got nothing to do with drivers. And unfortunately, it's got nothing to do with what you can download from the support page for this laptop. Very, very annoying. Um, I'll just stop the music. What it is, is it's this here, which you may have noticed, it's just started up. It's Max Audio Pro you have to have the Max Audio Pro installed for a change. You have to have the Max Audio Pro application installed for the headphone socket to function correctly. Uh, Dell don't make that very clear. Now you can't get this from the Dell website um, you have to get this, um, well, you can't get this from the Dell website for the XPS 13 because it's not listed as a download for that. But if you search for it, uh, Max Audio Pro Dell, it should bring up um, where you get it from. So let's have a look at that. So I've searched for um, Dell Max Audio Pro, as you can see in the search bar, hopefully, and it's brought up. Um, Waves Max Audio Pro application from um, Dell UK, the first hit. So if I click on that, it takes me um, to the main Dell website. Uh, I accept the cookies because I'm nice about cookies. Uh, and then you have a download file there. Now, um, what's interesting is the Waves Audio Max Pro is in fact a, an app. It's not a native application, it's, a, it's an app. So uh, you'd have thought that you could get it from the Microsoft Store, except you can't, it doesn't show up. So you have to go to, um, do the Google, click on this download, and this file is um, the necessary installer for the app. So you download the file. Um, it's quite a big file, it's, it's 10 meg. That's because the large bulk of it is um, the extractor. Um, but you can do install and it'll do it. But what it actually is, uh, if I extract it, 
we can have a look at what it actually is. It's a, um, where should we put it? Let's put it on um, desktop audio. Well, it's already there, desktop audio extracted. Um, so we'll just view the folder. And you can see there's a open deep link, Windows batch file, and there's an XML, two XML documents. So this is the installer for the app. So even though it's not listed on the Windows um, store, uh, Dell obviously have put this in so that you can grab it. So if you double click on, on open deep link or just run the installer, it'll install it. And once it's installed, it should appear in the notification area at the bottom, and then your headphones will work. So it isn't anything to do with um, anything physical, unless, you know, there's obviously bits falling out of it or the socket's really loose, then it, then it is physical. But if you're not running the, um, the software that you need to get it to work, the Max Audio Pro software, if that isn't running, then your headphone socket isn't gonna work. Um, this applies to the XPS 13, which is what this is, uh, and it applies to um, probably other Dell models that have this problem as well. So if you've reinstalled it and fiddled around with drivers for hours and hours and hours trying to get your headphone socket to work, don't worry, because this video hopefully will help you fix it. You just install the Max Audio Pro software and it's all good. Uh, yeah, um, any um, questions about this, stick them in the comments. Um, liking and subscribing is helpful. Uh, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, so Google throw me a bone. Um, so if you did find this video useful, just click that subscribe button, it'll only take you a second. And um, yeah, great. Uh, thanks for watching.